C1. You are listening at FameTV.info. Chapter 1. Former lovers Zhu Xingxing anxiously looked at the exit of the Sky Rainbow Tower, his eyes filled with anticipation. In three minutes, the woman he had been thinking about day and night for the past five years would be coming out. Would she be surprised to see me? Would she think of me every day? Does she still have me in her heart? Could it be that she already has a boyfriend? Time passed minute by minute, in a short three minutes, Zhu Xingxing felt like a century had passed. Anxiously, he used his frequent frequency to look at the long dot past electronic watch on his wrist. Su Mei, it's Su Mei. Suddenly, Zhu Xingxing saw a graceful figure walking out of the door, and her whole person became excited. Su Mei was wearing a standard female job suit, a white shirt with a black short skirt, her figure was extremely well dot developed, with a protruding front and back, and under the shirt, her well dot developed figure looked to be at least 36 c, Zhu Xingxing remembered when she was an A. His height had also changed from 1.5 meters to 1.65 meters, and with the addition of a pair of crystal high heels, he could already be considered tall. His looks were not handicapped, but more beautiful. Zhu Xingxing. You're out of jail. Looking at Zhu Xingxing who suddenly ran over to block his path, Su Mei said in shock. Yes, I'm out of jail. Looking at the woman who had thought about him for exactly five years, Zhu Xingxing nodded strongly. Oh. It's good that you're out. Be a good man in the future. Do you have any business with me? Su Mei asked indifferently. Ha. Huh. Zhu Xingxing was startled. I'm very busy. If you have nothing else to do, I'll be going now. After saying this, Su Mei walked past Zhu Xingxing and did not even glance at him once. Zhu Xingxing stood in place, his mind felt as if the sky had fallen on him. With a loud bang, he was almost unable to breathe, and his face was immediately filled with an expression of disbelief. Why is Su Mei so cold to me? Gritting his teeth, Zhu Xingxing caught up to Su Mei and suddenly grabbed her arm. Su Mei, do you know, in these five years, I've missed you a lot. Su Mei's body froze, and she flung Zhu Xingxing's hand away with disgust. Zhu Xingxing, let go of me, I still have things to do. Su Mei, you. Why are you doing this to me? Zhu Xingxing's face changed drastically, even in his dreams, he would never have thought that the moment he had been anticipating every day for the past five years would actually be like this. The woman he longed for was so cold to him. As you may frown, Zhu Xingxing, I beg of you, please don't come find me anymore in the future, okay? Let me go. No matter what happened in the past, I don't want to have anything to do with you anymore. If you're a man, then don't come and bother me, okay? Zhu Xingxing's face instantly turned pale white. He asked in disbelief. Su Mei, why? Why is that? What happened? Why? Don't you understand? Furthermore, you haven't even graduated from high school, and have no parents or anything of your own. You can only live in the lowest class of society your entire life, and live a lowly life. I, Su Mei, cannot live with a person like you. A ball of flame quickly ignited from the bottom of Zhu Xingxing's heart, Zhu Xingxing was his first love, and his most beloved. He had always been like this, and in the five years that he had spent in prison, there was not a single moment that Zhu Xingxing missed her. And now, what he got in return was, Zhu Xingxing caught up to Su Mei once again and grabbed her arm. Why? Tell me why. Zhu Xingxing screamed at the top of his lungs. The people around him were startled by his voice, and they all looked towards him. Let me tell you why. A man wearing glasses suddenly walked over quickly and wrapped his arm around Su Mei's waist. He looked at Zhu Xingxing provocatively. Because Su Mei already has a boyfriend. Ah. Zhu Xingxing trembled, seeing Zhu Xingxing's expression, the man pointed at him and said with a sneer, Are you that idiot Beelzebub who went to jail for Su Mei? Stupid. Stupid laborer, the anger on Zhu Xingxing's face completely exploded at this moment. 
Zhu Xingxing had never seen her father since he was young. According to her mother, her father had abandoned her mother and his son, and seven years ago, her mother was diagnosed with advanced cancer. Even after spending all his family's savings, he was still unable to cure her mother's illness that he was a waiter in a restaurant, and it didn't take long for him to fall in love with, the daughter of the owner who was still in his second year of high school. How blissful was that? When Zhu Xingxing saw this scene, he became furious and rushed forward to stop it. Unexpectedly, the guest was a gangster boss, arrogantly slapping Zhu Xingxing across the face. His beloved person had been assaulted in front of his eyes, and this person had even slapped his own face. At that time, Zhu Xingxing's emotions had instantly spiraled out of control, and he had grabbed a fruit knife from the kitchen to look for his opponent. In the end, he accidentally stabbed his beloved person into a grievous injury, and this big boss had used his own energy to bring Zhu Xingxing into prison for five years. At that time, Zhu Xingxing didn't have any regrets. If he could come back again, he would stab that bastard again. But now, he regretted. Listen to the full novel at fametv.info, direct link in the description.